that's where she needs your direction. Okay? As she's coming towards that wall, she's like, are we going to go left or are we going to go right? And you, you've got to be ready to say to her, we're going left. She, did, she needs you to help her out. So you got to really sit up there and got, you know, help hold her hand and say, yeah, we're coming over here to the left. There you go. See? And it's not a big, huge thing. But she needs that guidance from you as her rider and as her owner. Right? So you get to be really clear and say, I'll, I'll show you where to go, Annie. Yeah. There you go. And that's why that looking ahead really helps. And that's going to, you'll keep practicing and it'll get better and better. And it's, a spe, it's more this direction than the other way. It's this left, when you go to the left. And as you come, Underneath the center line is where you're thinking turn left, okay? So you don't want to feel like you get stuck going in a straight line towards that opening. Yeah, even if your circle gets smaller, I don't care. You, you haven't ridden her much. So you got to get a feel for her, and she's got to get a feel for you. This is how we do things. And if I'm telling you, when I rode her, that I had to work on this turning to the left, that means you're really going to have to work on it. And it's gotten, it's gotten better through the week. But you still got to be really clear. Come here, turn around to the left. There you go. And that was a nice turn. Yeah. That's it. Good. Let's, do, let's finish off this circle. And then we'll go straight ahead. So just a little left leg on. Close that left hand pretty firm. Okay, we have to do another circle so we get a better turn. She really doesn't like to do that, does she? This, this turn is hard for me. This direction. Think about that rope on the top of your helmet pulling you up tall. Left rein. Turn. 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 Good. Hold legs off just a little bit. Breathe. And we're going to go straight ahead. So now you're going to look down to the end of that long wall. Good. You're going to keep your eyes looking ahead. As you come around the arena, through your turns, looking through your short end. That's a girl. You stay up nice and tall and centered. You want to keep your balance right over the top in the middle of that saddle. And even still, use your corners as a little bit of practice of we're, we're coming left. We're coming left. Yeah, it's just a couple steps. But that's where we are beginning to say, stretch that right side of your body. Good. And it doesn't have to be perfectly on the rail or, you know, in, out in the short ends. We're just, one, we're building fitness, get her moving. Two, you're also getting used to her. Yeah, you get to rebuild your fitness since you haven't ridden much lately. So let's, when you get up to letter F by the mounting block, let's come across the diagonal at letter F. We'll go FXH in the trot. So you, at letter A, start planning for your turn. Eyes up to H and keep your eyes on H. Good. And let's just change our posting diagonal. Good job. Out on the rail, straight ahead in this direction. And we're just going to trot straight ahead on the rail just a couple times around this way. And you're thinking of your body being really tall and centered. That's it. Each time when you come up and you're posting, your belly button comes the most forward. And then if she, if she wants to get a little quick, you just want to close your belly muscles and close, release your hands. Okay, because sometimes she does get a little quick. It's just how she is. Good job. Any injuries? Yeah. Yeah. 
Staying up really tall, stretching up as tall as you can. Good job. Good. So now we're going to get ready to ask her for a walk. So you want to take your time. You want to take slow that posting down, close that belly, then close those hands. Very nice. Give her a big, huge pat, and you can let her stretch. And we're going to be done with that. All right? So 